Hey love bugs, it's Ross, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed, I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, thank you so much for the love and support. You have just, you know, helped support the channel and, you know, just keep challenging me and just asking me about different things that we can talk about on you know different videos which i greatly appreciate so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while i have not already you know please what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just stop telling me about your impacted gift and how it is, you know, impacted your life and heading you toward a positive direction. If you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or it's just very informative to you, you want to share with so-and-so, please go ahead and do so. And give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And thank you so much for showing love and support to the channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of the video. And today, oh my goodness, y'all. So I know y'all sit up here and see me sweat. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I've been like sweating like crazy for the last few hours and I don't know what's wrong. Um, remove hidden destructive influences. Boost positive healing energy. And I will post that link in the description box below. Y'all, when I was getting on to that, that first video, I was talking about spiritual awakening. And when we started talking about this um, dark stuff, that that made me read up on more stuff. So basically, the video today is about Twin Flame 101. Empaths, are, do you have, um, these are signs that you are going through, you know, Dark Night of the Soul. So I'm just going to, you know, put, you know, in the title. Are you going through the dark night of the soul, you know, having symptoms? And it's just some of the stuff, you know, that I, you know, I, when I was reading about the, you know, spiritual awakening, like, why do we have it? And, you know, why does it happen? What triggers it? And stuff like that. And then, you know, all the stuff that I was talking about. And it's just like, you know, I, I did like four, four signs. You know, you can read it up and look it up yourself if you're going through, you know, different stuff. Um, but it says signs that you're going through the dark night of the soul. Your experiences, um, your experience are currently going through experience of an ego death. Life is not or have, uh, haven't been what it, what it seems for a long time. It's like when you go through that spiritual awakening and it's just like, you know, people try to tell you there's no such thing as aliens, you know, there's no such thing as ghosts, there's no thing, such thing as afterworld. And then until you've known, in, you've known in your life, you have experienced a lot of things that cannot be explained. There's things that you have probably said, there's things you've probably seen that cannot be explained. So it's just like when we went through the dark, the dark night of the soul, there's a lot of things. It could be it could be a curse and a blessing at the same time going through that because i mean just the title of it sounds demonic to me so i was just like well you know let me not read on that but then you know it got really interesting and it says uh it's only when you're alone that you don't feel like you're alone and, and i love being having my alone time even though it's lonely um at times but then that's that time for you to be able to know yourself you'll be able to get more clarity that way especially if you're going through a lot of things and you need to get answers when you sit long a long time with yourself especially when you're getting quiet you will be amazed at so many answers that you will get you know going through this period of time you know and it, it could be a real beautiful thing even though it could be shocking they said it's not all going to be pretty because there's a lot of things about yourself you might not have known you know with me i was going through all these things and and you know find out more stuff about myself and it was like jaw dropping but it was exciting at the same time but then there was a lot of sadness at it too but i was glad that i was able to do that because like i told y'all before i did not like being alone by myself you know i've been alone my whole life i was always the, the you know the only child at home so i always talked to myself all the time so it's just like going through all these different things and you know seeing that you know now i understand okay these are things that we had to go through and then it's like number three um you have a newfound appreciation of your life and you, you know you're grateful for everything that is 
them in your situation. You might not be able to see it now, but you're grateful for mortality. You're, you know, because there's a lot of times, you know, there was times in my life where I felt suicidal. You know, I wanted to give up. I'm like, what's the use? You know, my family wants me dead. You know, I, my, why not just go ahead and give them what they want? And didn't even know what, you know, what was it that they were holding over my head that they wanted me dead so bad? You know, and then it was just like, you know what, I have, it wasn't even about my dad's estate, it wasn't even about my dad, but it was like, it first started off about me being connected with him, not about money or anything like that, but just going through what I went through just for being his child, going through life and just thinking, you know, maybe if people knew if I was his daughter, they would be nice, or, you know, I wouldn't say, oh, or get free stuff or anything like that, but you would think people would be forthcoming for it, and a lot of people can be, but a lot of people can be hateful for it, too, but I was appreciative of every experience I had, even though some of them might have pissed me off and some of them were really ugly towards me, it was always still a lesson for me to go through that, so you have to really look at stuff like that, you know, not just the ugly part, but you have to look at the pros and the cons on stuff like that. And the fourth one is the purpose of your life. Uh, it really puts a meaning, a true purpose of your life. Uh, it has taken a life, your life has taken true meaning of a true purpose, basically. So it's just like when you're going through all these things and you know, you know, hey, you know, my life, you've gone through the, your past experience on things on how you expressed yourself towards other people that, you know, really made them look at life differently. Or you might have helped certain people that you really left an imprint on them and they really remembered you for that. Or it's just things that you may have said that may have helped may have helped somebody look at life a totally different way. Like things that I do. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like amazing when you can find out there's other people that are going through things like that too as well. And um, last but not least, you're more aware of your freedom. It's just like you... You uh, like with me going through my things, especially with narcissism. Nar narcissism. You know, there's a lot of times that I just don't say nothing. Before it was just like you would trigger me. It just you have to really get me to that point for me to say stuff. And it's just like half the time I say it, it's just like you know what, this is a personal thing. It ain't got nothing to do with me. If things come back to me, you know, I was just like, when well, you have to take your time out to go out <laughs> and people are coming back and telling you your business, you know, it's just like sad and pathetic to me. But then I couldn't let, you, you can't let somebody get power over you like that. That lets them know that you still have power over you. And it's just like, you know, with me, you know, trying to forgive about all the things that I've went through with family and ex, you know, I, I have to let that go. You know, that just shows about my character and a lot about theirs, you know. So it's just like when you go through stuff like that, there's a lot more other things. I just didn't feel like writing all that stuff down. But if you know you're going through stuff like that, and there's a couple of, you know, signs that let you know that you might look at life like that, you might be going through it. But go ahead, Google it. You know, um, they have a poem. I think it's named something about John Cross or something like that. He made something about the the actually the writing on things about the dark the dark night of the soul. So, you know, you might want to check that out on, you know, Kindle or something like that, or Audible or whatever. So, you know, and just see if these are the things that you possibly have went through. So, I'm not trying to hold you up. I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. Like I said, I hope you are able to have a good, relaxing weekend. And I will talk to y'all on another time. So, now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I'm sending much up love. Uh, uplifting abundance much love and healing and loving vibes coming towards your way know that you are blessed highly favored truly loved and always know there's somebody out there praying for your better days and like i always say drop me a line like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites and i will talk to you on the next flip side. Peace. And be wild. My bad. I forgot to give y'all my post notification shout out. My post notification shout out is to Rising Soul, The Rising Soul and Christine Flaherty. Flo Flaherty. I hope I pronounced your name right. I'm sorry if I didn't, but I'm just giving you a shout out anyway. So I will see y'all next time. Peace. Be wild.